In today's video, I will be talking about a few databases and other organizations and agencies. For legal reasons, I will not be saying the names of these databases and organizations and agencies. Instead, I will refer to them as database A, B, and C, and so on. Although this video will contain factual information, there will be some parts that will have my unnecessary, necessary opinions. Opinions aren't facts. Please do not spread any hate towards anyone or any organization I may or may not speak about in this video. Please draw your own conclusions, do your own research, and never lack discernment. The most disrespected person in America is the black woman. The most unprotected one, a person in America is the black woman. The most neglected person in America is the black woman. And as Muslims, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us to respect our women and to protect our women. And then the only time a Muslim really gets real violent is when someone goes to molest his woman. We will kill you for our woman. I'm, I'm making it plain, yes. We will kill you for our woman. We believe that if the white man will do whatever is necessary to see that his woman gets respect and protection, then you and I will never be recognized as men until we stand up like men and place the same penalty over the head of anyone who puts his filthy hands out to put in the direction of our women. Over the years, a disturbingly disproportionate number of black women and girls across the United States have gone missing. According to Agency A, there are 64 to 75,000 missing black women and girls in the United States alone. Black women make up 7% of the United States population, but they represent 10% of the 60% of missing Americans. Yet year after year after year, they want us to believe there are more missing white people than blacks. Yeah, make that make sense, right? Well, Agency A gets their numbers from Database B, and Database B get their numbers from Database C, which is a digital database that stores crime data for the United States. Now, although studies have shown black kids go missing at a faster rate than other races, Database B says a little under 400,000 cases were filed by Database C that were white. A little over 20,000 races were unknown, and a little over 200,000 were black. I really hope you're following, and I apologize if I'm making this hard to understand, but the point I'm trying to make is the numbers don't add up. Oh, I count it wrong, you say, because the numbers add up on your end, right? Well, would you look at that? You're actually right. However, comma, how can I count something and come up with the right answer if the numbers aren't even reported? So, of course, I'm adding the wrong equation. Stay with it. Not only that, the way they group the numbers is a problem because the numbers not only represent the missing, is grouped in with the runaway girls, girls who could have been sex trafficked, and girls who could have possibly been victims of other crimes. Also, Database B sells information to the public for a little over $700 a year. So not only are they allegedly giving out misinformation, they're making a profit off of it. How does this affect missing black women, you ask? Well, because there wasn't a change in the numbers from one year to the next because they added it up, calculated it all wrong. Okay, the little bit of coverage the victims had was taken away and made the lack of awareness we have with this issue even worse. A 2010 study about the media coverage of missing children 
in the United States discovered that only 20% of reported stories focused on missing black children, despite it corresponding to 33% of the overall missing children cases. Conclusively, the report said that missing black youth, especially black girls, are underreported in the news, and it seems that many people don't even care. Now, although I must say that in the last three years, the media has gotten a little bit better with reporting on these cases because of social media when it comes down to these little black girls. Although it's mostly after the family's done begged, kicked, and screamed for someone to hear their stories, and nine times out of ten, it's something salacious about the story. And the reporter usually starts off with saying, social media has been set ablaze with flyers of little Miss and Michaela, or whatever the little girl's name is. Yet, when it's another race, the story goes from the police station straight to the local news station, straight to mainstream media. See, when black women and girls go missing, they are often written off as runaways. They don't get search parties like other races. They don't get large or, if any, money rewards for information for their safe return. Information on these cases are rarely available or updated. Hell, some of them don't even get put into the database. So that if you, if they ever came across someone that was of any authority, they wouldn't even know that they were reported missing. Now, as for social media, there is no doubt in my mind that if it wasn't for social media, I wouldn't know about any of the black girls missing. Hell, if it wasn't for social media, we might not have some of the success we have bringing some of these girls back home safely. 140 characters have pushed many news outlets to report on these stories and not ignore them. Dare I say social media has caught the attention of mayors, governors, and state senators to do right by these families. There have been wonderful hashtags like Bring Back Our Girls created by Obi who wanted to bring social awareness to the kidnapping of nearly 300 young black girls in Nigeria. Because of social media, I now know about the Wilson sisters, founders of Black and Missing. I now know about Team Hope, who connects families of the missing with other families who have the same experiences dealing with a loved one who is missing. They also help families with mental health services and travel assistance when a child is recovered, plus a lot more. But unfortunately, just like everything else, the good comes with the bad. There have been jackasses on social media who have reported fake stories about black women missing, conspiracy theories about cases, and all it does is take what little coverage this issue has away. Please stop spreading false information on purpose on social media. I understand sometimes we can make mistakes and then we'll come back and correct it, but some of y'all do it on purpose. You aren't helping in no way, shape, or form. You are putting real human beings in danger and messing up someone's hope. Their only hope they had getting their story out there, their daughter's story out there. But because of some jackass who wants to edit a few pictures and click send, the mayor would overlook their story because your, your fake story got to them first. Now they will scroll right over at Real Mother's Cries because you wanted to play reporter. Now, I really wanted to highlight a girl who was missing and didn't get a ton of media coverage. But when doing so, I fell down a rabbit hole with a lot of twists and turns. And I really don't want to become the very same thing I despise when speaking on these types of stories. So at the moment, I've put a pause on that particular case. But I hope to make that video one day. I'm just going to make sure I could do it in a way in which it sits right in my spirit. So what can we do to help this situation? My uno is we could be like more like the Wilson sisters. Um, instead of making videos like me, we could get up and do something about it. Uh, my uno is we got to work together and it starts with the family. And before I say this, 
please understand I'm not placing the blame on the family or the missing or the victims, I should say. I'm speaking from the things I see. And if I had a loved one missing, I'm sure I could possibly make some of the these mistakes that I'm about to point out. And let me be very clear. Everything I'm about to say, I know for some is easier said than done. First, I want to say, please protect your children. I know not all children come from bad homes and we can't always be with them every second, but please protect them and talk to your children. They are human with feelings just like us. Second, never give up. I don't care how many times when people tell you, oh, they just vanish without a trace and we can't find any foul play. Keep your foot on their necks. Please be sure to tell these people everything you know and everything you find out. And the reason why I'm saying this is because a lot of the cases I'm researching, the parents and loved ones of the missing are reporting the information to Facebook, but not the police. Now, for these so-called investigators, and know this isn't for all, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Some of y'all ain't shit. I highly forgive me, but that's just how I feel. I'm going to need y'all to actually care. A psychiatrist is actually quoted saying the following, if law enforcement and media give these victims more attention, it might help stop some of this from happening because victims would know that they are loved and criminals will understand they won't get away with it. Please start protecting and serving. Isn't that what you took an oath to do? Every time a missing person's case come across your desk, I'm going to need you to treat it as if it's one of your own. Isn't that what y'all like to say? I'm going to need for y'all to actually use the manpower y'all say y'all use. I'm going to actually need you to start listening to these families when they tell y'all something has happened to their child. I'm going to need for y'all to not give these families a hard time when they are trying to contact you to find out information about their loved ones' cases. Now, as far as society, I'm going to just need us to work together as a whole. There is no way anyone innocent, let alone an innocent child, should go missing or be harmed. I need to make sure we stick together so that this sick shit wouldn't happen to begin with. But when it does, because unfortunately this world will forever be beautifully broken, I'm gonna need for us to play our part. And trust me, we all know what our part is, I always say we as humans always have the answers. We just never implement them. And when we try, it's always someone high up trying to stop it. But again, if we all are on the same page, what's our billion to their one? I hope I make sense. So what do you guys think we should do to help the situation as a whole? How do you think we should implement your suggestions? Leave your unnecessary, necessary opinions in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!